Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising. Also, if you have Venus, Mars, or Jupiter in Scorpio in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, for all other information, please go to the description box below. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. If you do subscribe, please make sure you click on the little wiggly bell so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, Scorpios, what do we got going on here? So I'm going to do your reading for the month of May and June. I do two months at a time. The first month is going to be using the uh, Rider White. And the second month is going to be using the Energy Oracle Deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. Guys, I run two companies and I also work full time. I like to stay busy. However, I have to do these two months at a time. I am not like other readers. You're not going to see a lot of content out there. I do appreciate, um, you know, your support and everything like that. And I do try to put a lot of content out there, but uh, just letting everybody know that if you want to see some really significant content, definitely consider getting a subscription to my website. Um, that is where a lot of my focus is going to be coming up here in the next couple weeks, a uh, couple months, I'm sorry. So I'm really going to start focusing on that area. So let's see Scorpio, so what we got going on for you for the month of May. Cutting the deck. General energies for the beautiful Scorpios for the month of May of 2019 is, ooh, the Six of Wands. Great, Scorpios. What about your work life and financial life? Five of Wands. Hmm. For emotional life and love life, the Ace of Wands. Wow. And for the um, health and well-being, the Emperor. I don't know what's going on here, but inflammation is for some reason a big, big deal for a lot of people out there. Um, inflammation, rashes, uh, these things are definitely coming up here. So what have we got going, hem, hem, sorry, Scorpios, if you're going through hemorrhoids, I'm so sorry. Somebody's going through hemorrhoids. Anyway, okay, um, what have we got going on for you for the month of June of 2019? June of 2019. And whatever whatever um, inflammation or even potentially for some of you hemorrhoids <laughs> that you have, okay, it is going to affect your sexual life for whatever reason. Um, there is competition uh, in your relationships right now, so be aware of that as well. But let's get into June. What is June? June energies. What are the general energies for June? Hostilities. Wow. General energies for June relative to work life and financial life. Ooh, man holding the coin. And for emotional life and love life, appreciation. And... For health and well-being. Ooh, door to value. Okay. Guys, we do have to take into consideration when we've got these conflicting cards or these negative cards, they do affect the entire reading. But we will take everything in their own um, section first, and then I'll combine it with the entire story. So as it relates to the general energy for the month of May... Scorpios, you do have the six of wands. So as it relates to this, somebody is victorious. Scorpio, either you are victorious or someone else is victorious. This is someone who has overcome a conflict in order to create abundance and um, victory in their life. This is showing off. For some of you Scorpios out there, you or someone around you could be a little bit egotistical. So please be aware of that as well. Then what we... I just heard Game of Thrones. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm hearing Game of Thrones. So maybe some of you uh, Scorpios out there like Game of Thrones. I mean, maybe that's what's going on. So anyway, let's continue. Um, we do have the Five of Wands for your work life and financial life. You could be competing for a client. You could be having small little fights, small little spats at work. This could be on the job training as well for some of you Scorpios out there, there is something relative to 
needing to train up for something relative to your career. This could even be for some Scorpios out there training for sports, athletics, scholarships, so on and so forth. You are in competition in some way. This is how this energy is coming out. I'm hearing something. Hold on. Scorpios, I'm hearing a lot of swearing around you for some reason. I don't want to repeat everything that I'm hearing, but there's a lot of swearing. I don't know. I mean, like, it's, it's that swearing where it's like you're busy doing something or maybe you're doing housework or you're doing um, home renovation and like you hit your finger with 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 the hammer and someone is just under their breath. You're going, you know, so that is the kind of swearing that I'm hearing here. But it could be um, swearing uh, somebody getting into an argument of some sort that is definitely coming up. So as it relates to your uh, emotional life and love life, you do have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning. This is a flash in the pan. So some of you out there might be uh, in competition to get somebody's attention or they are trying to get your attention, but it feels like it's a flash in the pan. And um, Or perhaps, Scorpio, that's all you want. You just want a flash in the pan. So basically, it's kind of like, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This, this is the type of energy that this is. Now, is it going to be passionate? Absolutely. But it's very much like a quickie. Okay, so this is definitely what I'm seeing here. This could also be a bright idea, an innovative idea, maybe a green light relative to somebody that you are considering dating. Maybe you met somebody who's worthy of a commitment and you actually had to fight very hard for this person. For some of you Scorpios out there, this is someone in your life that you're interested in, that you're you're having internal conflict about, but now they have a new beginning. And now maybe they're not going to be as readily as available as you would like, or perhaps Scorpio, you're not going to be readily available for them. But this is definitely what I'm picking up here. Again, when I get the Ace of Wands, in the, health, in the health area or in the emotional life and love life area, I'm gonna say this, guys, and I'm gonna say it kindly, okay? Inflammation and rashes, be aware of that. Someone could be going through some sort of clinical uh, symptoms relative to something that needs to have medication, needs to have um, something looked at. Like I said, for some of you, it's hemorrhoids. For others of you, it might be yeast infections. This is what the Ace of Wands is. When you think about the Ace of Wands, you know, I can't remember what it was. It was one of it was one of the hemorrhoid commercials back in the 80s, I think it was, where they lit a match and they just showed the match. And this is what it feels like when you have hemorrhoids. That is what this is. That is this energy. This is an on-fire energy. So please be aware that that energy is around you. So I will say this, Scorpios, um, be careful and make sure you protect yourself, all right? This is important. Now, for your actual health and well-being, you do have the emperor. As you can see, the emperor is not moving. They're not moving at all, and they feel like they're on a stone throne, okay? it's it, That cannot be comfortable by any way, shape, or, um, or stretch of the imagination, okay? So some of you Scorpions out there, Scorpios out there, um, possibly could... Oh gosh, some of you Scorpios are in the middle of a meeting and you're like, seriously, when is this going to be over? The chairs are so uncomfortable. I know that's really mundane, but that is definitely what's coming up here. Uh, for some of you Scorpios out there, your father could be going through some health issues. Maybe you have to help your father pay for um, a medical bill, or there could even be for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, there could be a medical claims that you win meaning you, you're getting money because of a medical malpractice. Okay, so that could certainly be coming up here as well. For others of you out there, um, you're finally taking control of your health, and that is beautiful. Um, some of you are working out at home. You're, you know, you are the king of your castle, so to speak. And so that is wonderful. Um, let me see if I'm getting anything psychically for May before I move into June.
oh my gosh, I'm getting that song, What If I'd Been The One or What If I'd Be The One from 38 Special. That's coming up. Some of you might be dealing with guns right now. You might be getting a, a Colt 45, you know, 38 Special. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're talking about guns. You're talking about, you know, maybe the Second Amendment or something like that, but that's certainly coming up here, Scorpios. For, so for whatever reason, this this particular type of energy is surrounding you right now. Um, let me see if I'm, and, and what if I'd be the one is about um, someone saying, you know, what if I would have been the one to say goodbye to you instead of you saying goodbye to me? And what's important here, Scorpios, is that if somebody said goodbye to you or you said goodbye to somebody else, um, you know what, if, if that's what you did and they left, then they're not playing games. Just don't be surprised if they don't come back because maybe they don't play games. For others of you out there, um, if you said goodbye and they're still playing games with you back and forth, back and forth, maybe you just need to come right out and tell them, you know, I'm, I'm not playing a cat and mouse game with you. I really don't want you in my life. So that could be going on with some of you out there. So let's see what we have going on as it relates to the month of June. We do have hostilities. This may very well be why you've got hostilities in your general energy for the month of June. Someone in this dynamic possibly was very egotistical. They wanted to show off. They wanted to um, be in the limelight. This caused a level of competition and drama. Oh my gosh, drama. So this is what this caused. And then what happened is someone decided to start a new beginning or someone had a bright idea or someone is now reaping karma from past um, maybe egotistical actions. Because of that, this person now is trying to take back their power. They're trying to say, look, I made some pretty poor decisions in my past, but now I'm trying to take back my power. I'm trying to be a little bit more controlled and I'm trying to be a little bit more adult about how I move forward in my life. Now, you Scorpio could be saying that or somebody else could be saying that, but as you move through the month of May and as whoever this person is that is finally taking their power back, it's causing hostility for someone. This could be hostility for you. This could be hostility for someone else. Please do not get yourself embroiled in very minuscule and stupid arguments. Um, it just isn't wise. Okay, so just be aware of that. Then we have for your work life and financial life, the man holding the coin. So what I'm seeing here is that perhaps in the month of May, you were in a competition with somebody to get a client, get a big deal, get uh, hired for something. And what happens in the month of June is that you are getting the offer. You are getting the client. This is wonderful. There might be a Capricorn Taurus or a um, Virgo person that is of great significance to you. Absolutely. And for some of you, even an Aries could be of great significance to you in the month of May and in the month of June. So as we move into your emotional life and love life, you do have appreciation. So if something is going on, Scorpios, in the month of um, in the month of May, where something happened, whether good, whether bad, something happened, and someone has a discussion, a conversation, an adult conversation relative to whatever this is. And regardless, both people are going to walk away in appreciation. Okay, so be aware of that. Maybe the reason why um, this energy is happening here, this maybe even a new beginning, is that you're telling somebody, hey, I really appreciate you being honest with me. I appreciate you being truthful with me. They might be saying that to you regarding anything. This could even be somebody coming up to you and saying, you know what, I've been a player in my past. I've, I've, I've treated people poorly, but I really do like you and I really want a new beginning with you. And I'm just being honest. And if you don't want to be with me, that's fine. But if you do want to be with me, I'm going to be, you know, that person that's going to, you know, um, really support you and not let you down. And then this other person is going to say, thank you. I really appreciate that. But because we've got hostilities and we've got conflict for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, this could be where you're saying, look, all I wanted was a fun night. I don't want a relationship. And by you being clear and being honest with this other person, then they won't hold the, um, they won't have to hold the non-closure 
for years into their life. They will know right away, okay, this person's not interested. I need to move on. Will it hurt? Sure. But you were truthful. Then you release yourself from past karma and you release them from karma as well. So being truthful serves everybody in this particular situation. But there is appreciation coming to you from your children, your family members, your loved ones, um, your neighbors, everybody. You are getting appreciation or you could be giving somebody appreciation, which is very beautiful. Then we have for your health and your well-being, um, the door to value. So a lot of you uh, Scorpios out there talking to people about the value of their health. You could, be, uh, you could be presenting at a seminar. You could be presenting at some sort of, um, you could be writing an article, a journalistic article. You could be doing something, telling people about how they can really start appreciating their health a little bit more, how they should start taking care of themselves. Maybe, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you're a physician, maybe you're a provider that is saying, you know what, it's in your counselor. It's in your best interest, you know, to, to keep, you know, maybe you're in anger management. So it's in your best interest in order for you to handle whatever it is you're going through. You know, stop putting yourself through this, you know, like, like a chain smoking and then chain drinking or whatever they call it or, or binge drinking and everything else. And it's like, you're paying somebody to help you understand or somebody is paying someone to help them understand what this addiction is, what this stubbornness is. For others of you out there, there is something about your health that is bringing you bank. Okay, so some of you might be in competition. You could be um, winning um, a certain position as far as like maybe you are, you know, amateur weightlifter or something like that. But there's some sort of money coming in regarding your health but there could be money going out because of your health too. For some of you out there, you're simply putting an investment in on a gym membership or maybe some new gym equipment in your home, but that is certainly coming up here. Let me see what I'm getting psychically for the month of June. I just heard winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Oh, there might be some of you Scorpios out there that are going to have the best chicken that they've ever had in their lives. I'm talking like some like finger looking good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, this stuff is awesome. So in June, some of you might be going to some picnics or you might be going to some, um, you know, gatherings where someone is making the best Southern fried chicken you've ever had in your life. All right. So let's see what else we got going on here. What? This is going to sound so weird. Scorpio, something about the Statue of Liberty? Um, maybe some of you are going to New York or New York has something going on that affects you. Uh, maybe you have a client from New York, but I'm specifically getting the Statue of Liberty. That's interesting. And then what else am I getting? Some of you want to know what's under the hood. So I'm sensing for some of you out there, you might be looking at getting a new vehicle or you could be buying a vehicle for your um, your child or something like that. Or, you know, let's get a look under the hood. Sometimes providers say that as well to see what's going on on the in, inside. Some of you might be going to the physician and getting a checkup and it does look like your checkup is turning out well. Okay, but they may be giving you some... Um, they may be giving you some kind guidance for you to follow so that you don't um, harm yourself moving forward, whether that be through a diet change or whether that be through maybe um, how you handle anger or how you handle stress is what I am hearing. All right, Scorpios, I hope you like this reading. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. And please join me on my website. Consider getting a subscription there so you can access your extended readings for this month and all the months thereafter. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.